What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, represent Physics of Greatness, over here with Canal from KB Fitness. We over here at the Fit Con Expo, chilling, shaking hands, kissing babies, <laughs> the usual life. Be sure to fuck with my boy right here. All right. What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna go through a back workout using the FST method. If you're not familiar with it, um, it was popularized and created by Hanny Rambod, who is the current trainer for Phil Heath, four-time Mr. Olympia, uh, four-time figure Olympia, I believe, and used to train Jay Cutler as well, as well as a lot of other elite athletes. So he's pretty well known in the bodybuilding community, and he came up with his met method, uh, FST7 stands for fascia stretching technique and then seven refers to the seven sets he ends a workout with with uh, minimal rest which I'll talk about um, in the voiceover that I'm gonna do but I just want to do a quick uh, intro to this video and just let you guys know that this back workout is an FST method so it's not as high volume as it usually is but it was something new I want to try and I really did like it as you're gonna see and so I'll talk to you guys in the voiceover all right guys so let's get right into it the fst method basically is a technique where you do seven sets with about 15 to 30 seconds of rest um at the end of your workout now knowing me i looked at a sample workout it wasn't very high volume i didn't think it would be challenging so i started my workout with seven sets 15 to 30 and i also ended it so this is my first set as you can see i'm just doing a regular lap pull down the idea is not to do a heavy compound movement at all it's more of an isolation movement um, just because you want to try to do a weight that you can get 15 times and then continue to do it for the seven sets and the only time you make the weight lighter is if you can't do eight reps so for me I set the lap pull down whatever it was and I think I got 15 and my last set I got nine so uh, here's my girlfriend doing the same thing she's uh, been my workout partner so she's doing basically the same workouts I'm doing with some variations so this is my fifth set guys same kind of idea uh really it's just to to pump blood into the muscle i guess you could call it a pre-exhaustion method but really to just get a good pump stretch that fascia out um and yeah this is my seventh set guys this is the last set as you can see struggling a lot the weight's been the same and basically guys the the technique behind this is that the fascia, the deep fascia, is really that strong connective tissue around your muscles. Some people have thin fascia, um, like you know, like Phil Heath, um, Ronnie Coleman, Flex Lewis, people whose muscles really seem to pop, whereas other people like Jay Cutler have thicker fascia. So their muscles don't really seem to pop, and that's where you got to stretch it out to allow blood and nutrients to flow into that, guys. So... This is the second exercise uh, we're doing. It's just a low row. Now we're going to the standard, you know, three sets of eight to 12 or three sets of six to eight. I decided to do eight to 12 here, guys. And as you can see, really, time and attention was my goal here because I knew that with that pre-exhaustion method, I really wasn't going to be able to do anything um, too heavy, too crazy. So as you're going to see, we went ahead and did this hammer strength for three sets of eight to 12 and went on to a reverse pull down. Also, I decided to include uh, clips of my girlfriend as well, guys. I don't know how many women watch my videos, but if you guys, you know, like it, I know it's easier to relate, obviously, um, to a woman if you're a woman lifting. So if you guys like clips of that, just drop a comment below. She, like I said, she works out with me. Um, she films me most of the time, so it's never a problem for me to film her and throw those clips in the workout, too. So here I'm doing the reverse pull down hammer strength, guys. I really like... Um, this movement and it doesn't put that much strain on your wrist like doing it on a cable pulley because it's a little bit diagonal so it's going towards neutral and then I did a high rep or higher rep range 12 to 15 of just the hammer strength high row also really like this machine unfortunately they don't have the free weight version of it but after we did these nine sets um, all together we did another FST technique so we did the rowing machine which you're gonna see i guess you could just call it the cable row the low row i really don't know what to call it. it's just the you know plate loaded or not plate loaded it's just a pin weight machine so 
basically, after we did this, we go down to that. And that was more or less a workout, guys. We did seven sets in the beginning, really got a good pump in, did three sets of the low row, three sets of a high pull down, similar to like a lap pull down, a reverse grip lap pull down. Then we did three sets of a hammer strength high row and then finished off with seven more sets of eight to 15 reps more or less with this rowing machine. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a great workout. I really did get a good pump. I wouldn't do this every time, but I'd probably do it um, one time a week per muscle. So I'm looking to put out more videos um, of the FST technique, guys. But if you enjoyed this one, please like it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.